put on a cute outfit and I thought that I would update you guys on where I've been the past few months because it's been an eventful few months. So as some of you know, um, I started this channel when I was living in Thailand, which is in Asia, and now I had to move to the US um, and I'm living with my mom and my stepdad and they've been really nice. I've been trying to find a job lately and nothing's really working, but I've been trying really hard and it's just not really working out for me, so I've been really stressed lately and that's why I haven't been uploading as much because I've been trying to find a job, trying to focus on that. But the reason why I moved is also kind of crazy. <laughs> so as some of you know, I dated a Thai guy and the relationship lasted like seven years almost. And I thought it, I thought, you know, that was it. That was my person. But it didn't work out that way and I decided that I was going to break up with him. And at first he was handling it well, he was like, okay, cool, and I told him not to contact anybody, don't contact my friends, don't contact my family, he was like, fine. And then he started to add all of my coworkers, all of my friends, some of my family, and it got really annoying because everybody would tell me about it and it was really embarrassing. Ugh. And I talked to him on the phone. I was like, hey, don't contact my friends. Don't. Like, I just want a nice clean breakup. We all know that never fucking happens. So then he proceeded to add my coworkers, add my friends, add, like, not listen to anything that I fucking told him. And I blocked him on everything after I blocked his phone number, blocked his Facebook, Instagram, everything that I can think of, blocked it all. And then he started posting on Facebook about how he was going to shoot me, he was going to hurt me, he was going to hurt whoever I dated next, he was going to come to my house, he was going to come to my work, and I was like, this is getting really dangerous. So I tried to go to the police, and they didn't do anything. They were like, oh, he's probably not going to do anything, they're probably empty threats, he's just really hurt whatever and so they didn't do anything so I just went from home from I just went homework 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 like for like a semester and I saved up enough money to come back to the states and I had to move in with my mom temporarily and my stepdad and they've both been really nice they're just happy that I am safe and at home with them. I remember him calling me one time from like a different number and I had been screening my calls so I unless I ordered food or something I didn't pick up the phone so this was a number that I didn't recognize and I was like I don't know what number this is and then I didn't pick up and he texted me he's like are you gonna pick up the phone or am I gonna have to go to your school and I'm just like um so then he calls me again he calls me again and then I still don't pick up the phone and then he texts me okay I'll see you at your school tomorrow morning and he called me a third time and he picked and I picked up the phone, he called me a third time, and I picked up the phone, and I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And he's like, oh, I just wanted to ask you how you're doing. Yo, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the actual fuck? I was like, you threatened to hurt me, hurt anybody who comes near me or touches me, because like, I'm yours, apparently. I'm your fucking property, and I can't think for myself, apparently. And you want to know how I'm doing? How the fuck do you think I'm doing? Like, are you fucking insane? Bro. 
And then he's like, oh, well, you broke up with me. I didn't break up with you. And I'm like, bro, we're, we're fucking broken up. If I fucking see you, I'm calling the fucking police. He's like, oh, so you want to make a big deal out of this? I was like, don't fucking call me. And they hung up on it. And then I had like a fucking panic attack because he told me on that phone call that he moved to my city. He moved to my city and he found a job there. I don't know if it was true or not, but I was like, I am not about to take a motherfucking chance. So then I start having a fucking panic attack. I start hyperventilating. I felt like I was going to fucking throw up. My anxiety was through the fucking roof. <laughs> like, ugh. And I was like freaking the fuck out. I was looking through my phone. I was like, I have to leave. I have to leave. I have to fucking leave. So eventually I did book that trip. And now I'm safe with my mom and my stepdad, so you don't have to worry about me. I'm fine now. We're in completely different countries. It's all good. And I blocked him on all my social media, and I made a new Instagram, in case you were wondering. Because my Facebook got fucking hacked by somebody, and they were posting shit like guns or something on my profile. And Facebook flagged it, and my Instagram went with it because they were linked. So I made a new Instagram account. I will link it down below so you guys can go follow me and stuff. It's privated just so that I can screen shit from my ex, but... Mm. But yeah, I'm actually dating somebody else now. And we've been friends for like three years. Um, and yeah, we were friends even when I was with my ex. And apparently we've always liked each other. <laughs> and I asked him out on a date, a virtual date, because I don't want to spread anything to anybody. And yeah, he said yes. And after that, he kind of asked me to be his girlfriend. And I said yes. So we've been dating for like three months now. <laughs> and he's really nice. He's really sweet. And... Yeah, he's just really understanding, and he always tries to help me, and yeah, I really like him a lot, so. <laughs> yeah, that's that. So I am safe with my mom now. You don't have to worry about me. I will link my new Instagram down below, and I'll try to be better at um, posting stuff. I'm thinking about making some lessons on Patreon, Ko-fi, and maybe uploading it to Udemy. So I will tell you when that happens. And yeah, I will see you guys later. Stay safe and stay home. Okay? Don't go outside if you don't have to. Bye guys. Rock on.